Hello and welcome to the BMC Helix video solutions tutorial on how to create an incident by email with pre-populated values. Let's begin. For this tutorial, we assume you've already configured your email service to create incidents by email. If you haven't done so, please refer to the section titled Creating Incidents and Retrieving Incident Status Through Email Messages in our official BMC Helix Remyforth documentation. Once you've logged in to Remedy Force, go to Remedy Force Administration, then go to Configure Email, and select Incident Email Settings. Scroll down to reveal the Mapping Email Content to Incident Field section. And here you can see the basic settings in which we map the description field and we add the subject and the email message text. For this tutorial, I'll map the category, the impact, and the urgency field, which will be populated with text contained in the body of the message. And this will be uh, achieved by using delimiters. First, I will map the category field which I will select from this drop-down menu. From the second drop-down, I will select body. And I'll use uh, as a keyword, the same name, category. And then, and then I'll click on the plus sign to add the mapping. I will continue with, with the other two fields, which is impact, and urgency. As you can see, the default delimiter is uh, two pound signs, but you do have other options if you would like to use them. Now that I've finished uh, mapping my fields, I will click on save. Now we're going to test uh, these new settings. I'm going to send an email to create the incident. I send it to the email address of our email service. I add the subject and the description. This description already contains the keywords for the fields that we would like to populate. In this case, we have the three fields that we've already configured in a category is going to have you know, the facilities value, urgency is going to be set to high, and impact to low. I'll go ahead and send. Now we go to the incident console, and we can see that the incident has already been created. I'm going to click on the incident to look at all the incident details. You can see the incident form here, and if I scroll further down, I will check the three fields that have been populated. In this case, category has been populated with the facilities value. If I keep scrolling down, the urgency has been set to high, and the impact has been set to the low value. So uh, we have effectively uh, pre-populated the values for this particular incident. This concludes our BMC Helix video solutions tutorial on how to create an incident by email with pre-populated values. Thank you for watching.